What's up, YouTube? I'm uh, obviously making another video again. Uh, I'm supposed to be wrapping Christmas presents right now, but I'm definitely not doing that. I'll uh, do that a little later. My girlfriend went to wrap my presents with her friends, so I got nothing to do. But I installed a new light bar today, so I want to go check that out. I want to see how it looks because I've not seen that night yet. It has this like fish eye bulbs over it, so there's like, and it's a quad row never had a quad row i've been too broke i've always had a uh, dual rows but so i'm gonna go check it out i'll show you guys in a second because i'm gonna drive over to my sister's job real quick and uh buy a coffee or something keep me motivated through the night to wrap all these presents so when i get there i'm gonna show you all right i'll see you in a little before i leave i'm gonna show you um how obsessed I am with light bars though. I have so many, and this isn't even all of them. I have more inside my uh, house and light bars I'm not even using because I have too many, but uh, my mom wants light bars in her truck. So I've already thought of giving her the ones that I don't use. I had a big 42 inch, beautiful light bar, but it ended up getting shattered because it was on the front of my Durango and I backed my Explorer into it, so. Lucky me, huh? <laughs> but I'm gonna show you guys real quick before this I leave. This is not a flex by any means because I just spend my money stupidly. I could have bought many other things. I'm waiting for my exhaust tip. I I bought my intake, but I'm waiting for my exhaust tip and new headlights and tail lights and stuff like that. But instead I just keep buying light bars because I want to try different companies, see which ones are the best. And I've got seven inches, 21 and a half, 15, nine, and I also got, um, I don't know if I said 20 inch yet, but I got 20, 42, seven, six and a half, 15, 21 and a half, and nine. I don't know, I'll just, I guess I'll edit that the way, I don't know what I repeated. So I'll just edit that the way that it's in order, but I don't know. Now I'm gonna actually show you. Add that one, that one, those two up there. I don't know if you can see them. I have that one right there. I'll show you more. Ones up here, Trunk's dirty. Don't care. That was the only other quad row then. The other one. Then I also have another one upstairs. I have the 42 inch upstairs in my house. And I have another seven inch in the back of the Explorer. There was four on top of the Explorer at one point, but I took two off to put on the Durango. And then I ended up buying another set of two to put on their Durango so I never put the other two back on the Explorer I'm cold but I never put the other two back on the Explorer so um there's only two up there right now and there's supposed to be four so I'll have to get them all together and then just show you from there and obviously it's stupid but I'm getting a 50 54 52 I don't know, something like that for the top of the truck. And then I'm getting little cubes for the bottom. <clears throat> I don't know. I know I'm definitely doing two cubes for the back for the reverse lights. And then I'm doing one on the top on the roof rack. And then I'm doing another one in the grill. That's what I'm doing. I'm definitely doing it in the grill. I like that look. But <clears throat> I have way too many already. So I'm going to try to use some of the ones I have before I order new ones. Another form of lighting I have is I have LED headlights, LED reverse lights, I have green interior lights in a truck that I think is pretty cool. I have green fog lights and then everything else is either green or LED, blinkers, reverse lights, tail lights, there's some form of LED. I didn't realize I was this into light. Um, I put a ridiculous amount of money in the Durango in the last seven months, way more than I put in the Explorer. I could have put way more money in the Explorer, and I did, I don't know. But let me actually get going and showing you the 
light bar. I just don't want someone to take my spot. I park on the street and people like to take my spot around here. So next clip will probably be the light bar unless I decide to talk about something else, but whatever. We'll get to the light bar eventually tonight. All right, I literally just drove down the street, but I can't wait, I'm too impatient. Okay, not bad, and it's with it on, it's with it off. I'll have to show you in a darker place. Everything's lit up over here, so. I just see my sister, I have a, I just recently had a video go like uh, really big on TikTok, it has like 180,000 views. And um, it was me going in and buying a whole bunch of stuff because she just started working as a cashier. So I bought a bunch of stuff to basically make her job a little better, a little harder. And uh, I just seen her in there. She got nervous. But I am making a part two and she doesn't know it because the video went so big. I'm going to make a part two. It's going to be really funny. All right, I'm just going to vlog right here because I think security is watching me over there. And it's very awkward for anybody to watch me film. But... It's whatever. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna show you right now. There's obviously still light, so I couldn't find anywhere. I didn't have much light. I might, oh, I might pull to the other side. I don't know. Let me just do this. That's with my headlights. That's with no headlights. That's with the light bar. So, I mean, does it really make a difference? I'm not really sure. Light bar definitely works, obviously. But, I don't know, hold on. Oh yeah, the light bar definitely works a lot better than the headlights. Let's see. Just a little 20 inch. But, it does work. It works on the dark streets, obviously, but there is still a light here, so it's a little weird. I guess that wasn't the know. best demonstration, but whatever probably tested somewhere else this was just somewhere quick i have to get back home and wrap presents i was supposed to have them wrapped an hour ago i've been out just cruising because a lot of the times the holidays are the best time to be out because nobody's out so you can just go for a cruise do what you want actually i'm gonna pull back here real quick oh yeah okay light off light on i'll pull into here real quick Oh, hell yeah. Light off, light on. It's a little spot, but we definitely gets the job done for whatever I need. And it has that fisheye beam, so it goes everywhere. Anywhere you need it to, I guess. Uh, this was definitely a better demonstration than over there. I don't know what people actually like. Because vlogs, people do stuff, but they also talk a lot, too. Hold on, let me... Change. I see in vlogs, people talk a lot, so... Do you like when I just cruise around by myself, vlog, and do retarded stuff like this that never ends up working out? Or do you guys want to see more stuff? Obviously, I have three subscribers, so... And they're probably my family anyways. So it doesn't really matter, but... When I get more subscribers, I'm going to ask again to see what people like. I like doing stuff, and I do eventful stuff. I really do, like... I go out all the time literally every day everybody asks me why are you never home because if I cannot physically sit home for more than like two hours except for at nighttime during the day I am out all day every day everybody who knows me knows I am never home you can never just show up in my house and expect me to be there because I am never there okay, so if you guys want me to film the stuff I do during the day not a problem because I'm pretty sure my vlogs are going to be eventful I don't sit home even Christmas is going to kill me to sit home. I hate sitting home. And I'm not even sitting home on Christmas. I'm doing the, like, the present stuff. And then I'm leaving. I'm going to my girlfriend's mom's house. And then, I don't know. I'll probably end up going back home on Christmas. Christmas, I guess, is an exception. But other than that, I'm out every single day. I don't know why. I got, I got some serious issues. But yeah, my vlogs can get eventful. So I'm hoping more people watch because I really want to entertain people. And I think I can actually entertain people other than my shaky hand. All right, I just made it home. I'm gonna check my mom's oil before she leaves because she doesn't check her own oil. And I really don't want her motor to blow. It's a beautiful truck. But if I get 
a flashlight and somewhere to mount this i will definitely record that because i don't record any car stuff i do and that's literally what i do for a living so i will vlog that i just have to run upstairs and get the keys because i'm too lazy but okay i forgot i could put a flash on the actual camera <clears throat> but this truck put me through hell over the summer why it's not going all the way up this truck put me through hell over the summer like literal hell it was not fun can i put my phone here please i don't know i won't cover the camera what is it showing i don't know i guess i'll just check later i'll just talk to you while i'm doing this two months our water pump exploded and then when i was taking the water pump off one of the water pump bolts broke off in the block and then my mom's friend drilled it out for us. And then the drill size that we had, we couldn't find the bolt for. It was just a horrible, horrible job altogether. It sat here for two months. We took everything off. The radiator came off, our radiator, fan, hoses, obviously, alternator, AC compressor, water pump, everything came off and everything was off for two months. Finally found the bolt, my mom's friend put it in. Um, because I gave up. I told her I wasn't doing this job no more. It took us two months to do this job. And then I asked him if he could put everything back on because I was just stressed, beyond stress. I was already trying to deal with my truck that had leaks everywhere. I had a coolant leak, I had a brake leak. I had everything. So I was already trying to deal with mine. And so he put, thankfully, dude, God saved my life. He put everything back on for me, thankfully, but now i try to keep up with it and make sure nothing breaks it was hell over the summer like nobody would have wanted to do this job people would have been able to do it faster but they would have never been able to they would have never been volunteering to do this job trust me what are you guys even looking at um uh, i don't know what you're looking at but i guess you're just using i'll just use the audio or something like i said i cannot forget to get my mom's friend credit that dude has saved our asses plenty of times that dude does an amazing job on cars and save my ass countless times so i don't know how much of this footage i'm actually going to use but i will leave in the part about what happened with the truck about my mom's friend helping us because he deserves it unfortunately i got the four seven rango i wanted the five nine we had a five nine lined up but there was too much problems with it being on my durango was messed up anyway so we could have just stuck with that one the explorer so running like a charm after two years sounds like a tank if you guys watch my other videos you'll hear it but yeah i'm looking to get the 5.9 soon because i think i got blown piston rings in the durango and i don't want to have to deal with that i don't want to have to deal with rebuilding a motor but I was, yeah i was supposed to buy her a filter for christmas and i ended up ordering it too late and we ended up using the money on the card without realizing it every time yeah that filter is done can't wait to get a new one i'm getting a blue one mine is green <clears throat> i don't know if i showed the vlog yet but mine is green like bright green so i'm getting her a blue one definitely getting her a new one that's gonna be awesome All right, let me just do one last check it's not full I should not be leaving it like this, but we don't have any more oil. I'm gonna go to the store right after Christmas because it's Christmas time. Literally Christmas is tomorrow, so. This was my little uh, story time thing at how my mom's 5.2 liter V8 destroyed my summer. <clears throat> nah, I still love her though. I don't blame her. I don't blame anybody. My summer didn't get destroyed. I still went out, did what I need to. I worked on it when I came home. It wasn't like I was forced to stay here. I worked on it when I came home. It's dirty and I'm going to clean, clean, clean the crap out of this thing. I just built too much oil down there. That was by accident. Oh shit, what is there? I think her pin just popped. They're gonna make an outro now because 
I make YouTube videos now, so I might as well make an outro. I don't know what I'm going to actually use or what I'm going to say for an outro, but as of right now, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be making more. I actually like making videos now. Definitely um, stay tuned for more videos. Alright, bye.